Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. And today's bonus game will be the Fibble, which I haven't played in a bit. So we're gonna start with lying because one of the clues lies in Fibble. Well, that was actually a pretty good start. We got, ooh, what, what is this word? Okay, it surely ends in Y. Um, I'm thinking of goalie, I, I guess goalie is a word. I'm not sure where that comes from though. Um, or galley? Is that how you spell galley? Like the, the on ships, that's what you call like where they eat, like the cafeteria is the galley. Um, pretty sure. But is there anything that doesn't repeat the L? Because that would be. Oh, you know what would be fun is gaily. It repeats the Y, which is not great, but um, that's a pretty fun guess. You know what? Let's just do it. All right. Well, it might be goalie. But we are going to try the right word first and see if we incidentally get letters. So L second, and then maybe, oh, it can't be AI. How would we put an I there? OI maybe? Actually, I don't see the EI. Uh, maybe L goes at the end. So I could do like I and then, oh, I could do an I, I L here. Why can't I think of anything? Could be ending in E L. Or could it be like an L E R word? Like file. Okay, I found a word. We're going to do filer. Yikes. Okay, the I is second, the L is at the end. Um, pixel? Pixel's fun. Oh, there's no E. I rolled out the E. Huh. It really feels like pixel. What else can it be? Civil. It could be civil. It is civil. Nice. I wonder if that was the only word left. That would be strange if it was the only word left, but... All right. Well, I guess I have to... Oh, I did try L here, and it is not there. That's good. So it's not goalie. So we need... Oh, how do we do this word? Godly. Um, oh, godly would work, actually. Nice. Godly civil. Interesting words. Is, uh, should that have been as hard as it was? I don't know. But uh, it was interesting, for sure. All right, godly civil. Okay, no luck today on getting it in one. <laughs> uh, it is a double, oh, interesting. Like, could this be, oh, I was gonna say lilac, but certainly not lilac. Uh, that's not even two eyes. What is this word? All right, we'll, we'll incidentally get letters again, hopefully. Um, this can't be doggy, so I don't know what the top right is, because I can only think of doggy. Um, I don't know, maybe O-R-D-Y, like wordy. All right, we'll keep wordy in mind. I think I should just do a filler though, but maybe we should target some of those letters like the R, the W. Um, how about wrath? That's fun. Okay, it's certainly wordy. Oh, it's not wordy. Oh, wow, it's dowry. Oof, putting the W first saved me there. It's not even dowry, it's rowdy. Oh my goodness, who knew that wordy, dowry, and rowdy were all acronyms? Um, anagrams, acronym. Wait, which one is it? Anagram? <laughs> why, why do I get those words confused? I don't know. Um, oh, a T on the bottom right word. What? L I something I t Oop, what happened something I T or I L I T or T I L I I don't know we'll find maybe we'll get the other letters top left Harry no oh gosh okay well I don't get any more fillers it's not harpy wait what is this.
Uh, I guess there's... Hmm. Oh, there's an eye. Darn it. It's, hair, it's this Harry. I should, I should have done that Harry anyway, but I, I, I just didn't see the eye. We had all the letters. Oh, no. Um... Uh, it could be Spark, um, which I guess I might as well guess. Yikes. Did not do well on this one. Um, what is this right word? What's the left word? I don't even know which one to guess. Uh, it would be nice to at least know what both words are so that I can go, well, at least I knew them, but... Honestly, I'm not. Oh, it could be quark. So I think the left word is quark. The right word, though. L I T I. L I something I T. Limit. I think it's limit and quark. So let's guess quark. Okay, quark was correct, and then it was limit. Okay. I just needed one more guess. <laughs> and I would have gotten that one more guess if I had actually scan this right so it's my own fault for losing uh, for making a mistake and that's fine all right let's do connections let's do connections we're finding four groups of four all right tesla is a man but also a unit of measurement for magnetic flux whatever that means it's like the energy moving through a space or something well solid gas plasma where's liquid liquid these are states of matter and i don't see bose einstein const condensate or whatever so i think these are it yep states of matter okay um i don't know what shellac is which is going to be a problem um copy paste undo and cut are things you can do in a text editor or shortcuts i don't know i don't see anything else that would fit edit menu commands okay that's a good way to put it is tesla as a car brand maybe least crush trash route is this the route it, without the e does this mean like when you route the enemy like defeat them in battle in a certain way i don't know exactly what routing technically means but it has something to do with that right okay stale slate least and tesla are are um anagrams There was one I did before that I actually got right because I thought it was anagrams or, or words that had anagrams and ended up just being something else. But uh, it's funny that now anagrams is actually a category. Um, I don't know. Trash, crush, route, shellac. Um, category is to words for defeating something. Defeating someone. Defeat badly. Hey, I got it. I got it. Nice. All right, well, I'm pretty happy uh, with that solve. No mistakes, uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, yeah, see how we do tomorrow. I need a better ending for that. <laughs> I never know what to say. I have to cut it short anyway because of the, the minute for... I've been posting these on TikTok. With, on TikTok, you can do longer than a minute. Um, so I've just, maybe I'll just stick to TikTok for, for the short version of these. Who knows? I kind of want to make my camera bigger because when I capture just this part of it, like it, it's really uh, blurry on the final edit. But I don't know exactly how to fit this grid in with a bigger camera feed. So maybe I'll like crop myself, pre-crop myself and make that bigger. Maybe that will help. Anyway, um, do you guys like the behind the scenes stuff or is that bore you and I should just move on? Um, either way, I'm moving on to the fibble here. Um, I think I want to go hard mode again. So let's try sauce. 
And of course, it doesn't enforce it, so I just have to use my own uh, limit. I have to limit myself, and sometimes I do make mistakes, of course. But I think sauce is good, because sauce has the E lying, this, and then nothing else is lying, because there's not a second E, there's no H or N. Um, oh, interesting, I got an X-Wing anyway. So if you don't know the term X-Wing, it actually comes from Sudoku, but it's, it's actually very similar logic, where um, there's two lies in total, right? Because there's two guesses, and there's exactly one lie per guess. So we have two total lies. Now, one of the lies is between these two Cs, and one of the lies is between these two E's. So we have located the two lies. One of these C's is lying, one of these E's is lying, which means none of these can be lies. So those letters are not in the word. I mean, we have to be careful because there could still be the E in the word. So I'm gonna try another C-E ending. Um, there's plenty, right? So we could do force, for example. I think that'll work. All right, now with both of these out, we can't, we can't have, um, one of only one of these lying. Let me show you what happens. If this C were lying and it was actually green, then this would be a lie and this would be the truth. But then this this E would wait. Is this? Oh, sorry. Uh, what I meant was, yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry. If this C was lying, then this C would be lying. So this C would be in. But then that means this E is lying, which means the E is in, which means this E is a second lie. So it doesn't work. If this C is in, then this E's in. If this C is out, this E's out. It's another way to put it. Because you, you, it's called an X wing because you need you draw an X here. Either these two are true or these two are true. Um, and so it has to be that these two are true. Anyway, I don't know if I explained that way in way too much. Um, something you already know, but all right. So one of these is the truth, uh, or sorry, one of these is a lie. So there's either an R or an O probably. I'm gonna assume no F just because it's less common than O and R. Um, so let's pick one to put in. Um, I could put R second. I could assume R is yellow and just put it second. That seems reasonable. Um, what can I do though? I could do drill. You know, double letter is not so bad in Fibble because you can catch a lie with double letters with an impossible coloring. So I don't mind drill too much. I could do grill as well, or trill. Actually, trill maybe? Is that how you spell trill? That gives a T. Hmm, interesting. So if this R were still lying, we would have to be T R, or we'd have to have an R somewhere. But probably tr and then we'd have to like mix these up i don't think that's true so i think the r is actually not lying here i think we have an o or an f probably an o so maybe the lie is yeah when you get a when you get one green that's the most likely to be the lie because greens are less common but it is a t at the start um what would i want to do here if I use the T and then I put, say, the O second, I just need the I or I just need there to be like. OK, probability wise, I'd say that this is the lie because the L's are colored in a reasonable way. I know it's kind of weird to put it that way, but like these L's are two chances for a lie. And also there's a chance that that lie doesn't make sense. At the same time, it could just be that there's no L in the word. But maybe I can do something like T-O-L or T or put an L. I can't put an L in either of these spots. Um, it could also just be that the T is lying. Actually, probably, probably the T is lying. Sorry, I keep going back on this, but I can't think of words, so I have to change my options here. Um, maybe we end in, ooh, where, where's the L go? L goes second and then like OI, that would work. What can we do there? Mm, that seems tough. So yeah, I'm assuming these lies, but let's not mark that right now. Um, I can't think of a word like this. Ooh. Oh, I was thinking folio, but I can't because that's two lies in force. Hmm. Polio then. 
I think polio works. So this is lying. It should be green. There's no F in the word, true. This T is lying. There's no T in the word, so it's lying as gray. There's an I out of place. There's an L out of place. There's not a second L. So polio. Oh, interesting result. Um, I'm going to undo this stuff because we're not confident in that, but there has to be an O because you can't have both of these lying. So this is definitely the lie. There's no F. I like to think we place the L. Maybe pilot? Because the T is lying, but it could be lying as yellow, and that would be pilot. Wow, nice. I like that solve. I think that was fun. Hopefully I actually correctly guessed words that were possible this time, but either way, I got, I got to the answer, so that was fun. Um, yeah, enjoyed that. Cool. I always like Fibble. Um, I don't think I want to play it every day, but I do enjoy it. Let's do polygonal. Uh, we'll turn on Hexpert, which is now, it seems to be tracked separately per mode, which is neat. Um, this is interesting. We have a prefix, basically, that's repeated. So like, I mean, maybe just putting a vowel here would make the most sense, but let's end in ing. That does put a vowel there, and that, that makes some amount of sense. Um, what do we want to do here, though? Can we do piloting? We can do piloting. That's fun. Must match the pattern. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, this has to match. Oh, sorry. I can't do piloting. So I put here has to be in both, both places. How about, hmm. I don't know about T here. Expert saves me from guessing an impossible answer. Um, tickling. I think is CKL, or maybe in CKEL. Uh -huh. um, how about, oh, I was going to say tinting, but that, I need two letters here. How about L? I'm not seeing it. Lur. Okay, does P work? Pile of ping? <laughs> sing, something sing. S Problem is I can't put like another vowel here, which feels like is what I want to do with ing. Can I put in like an A here or something like, or an E? I thought of lightning, but <laughs> that doesn't work. I'm trying to figure out what letter can go here. Dimeding, dice, dicing. There has to be an ing word. I will find it. Uh, it probably isn't even one though. Um, wipe wing. Wh why wire wing? What? Tire ting. Time ting. No. Um. But R. Ring ring. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything. That's sad. Um, what if we do a reword? Re. I 
I'm actually thinking A might work better. Ra raid. This is hard. Why is this so hard? I'm going to do a filler. <laughs> it, it feels like I shouldn't have to, but I'm going to do it. Um, machined, what does that tell me? Uh, lastly, what about strength? Let's see how strength does today. Okay, it's not ing anyway. Um, there's a T, but it's not repeated. That's good to know. So it's not in these spots. I'd like to think R is here, or maybe E is here. Or could we be R E? I looked at this, and then the T is not here either. So maybe like R E T. Re. Retread, but but not. Um, this is still hard. Um, can I start with RET? Because that would be very nice. Trying to think of another filler. Um, I don't have a good follow up for strength. Reticule? Reticule works. R, E, and I are placed. T is placed. There's a C. Redirect. Wow, that's tough. I was looking at RE for so long, I didn't come up with a redirect though. Solve the daily puzzle a hundred times. I feel like I got that a while ago. All right, cool. 28 words. I know it's really hard to read now. Were there any ING words at all, even in the uncommons? Suffixes, ING. Hilching, hitching, hitching, ooh. Libeling and widowing, ooh. I tried WI, I think. I didn't think of widowing. Interesting. Widowing might have actually helped a lot because it would have placed the D. But finding an RE word would have been would have been best. Redirect was the only common RE word. There was also reforest, respread, and rethread. Interesting. I tried retread, didn't I? Or re Oh, yeah, I tried to do retread, but it was too short. I didn't think of rethread. Interesting. All right, let's do the mini. We'll confirm we're on Hexpert. We are. It's this pattern again. I mean, there's 400 something words for it. So um, what do we want to start with today for this pattern? How about solely? Okay, one of these days I'll get in one. It's actually really hard if it's one in 400. Um, didn't we have this before, like sleek or something? All right, S here, L here. Stool. There we go. <laughs> Again, 401 ordinary words. We're going to get through all of them probably. <laughs> nice. All right, let's do symbol. We'll start with Blaze. All right, nothing from Blaze, so we'll do Toxin. For a second, I thought we'd get nothing from Toxin. We'll assume ends in place for now, if we can. Um, spurn. That seems pretty good. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's always fun. Got it in three. <laughs> Don't know how. 
I wonder how many words there were. I mean, there were, there were plenty of words probably where this would be a yellow clue as well, like ending in T, ending in O or I, perfectly reasonable. But there you go. <laughs> Got lucky. All right. Well, this fusel, we are not starting with spurn. In fact, I think we can only start with issue. Maybe insu is a word. Nope. Um, all right, we'll do issue. There's an S and it's not in either of these spots. So maybe we'll start with S. Let's do stray. Test it. We don't care about these slots, so we're testing if there's an A there. No T or A, and we did not find where the S goes. So now I'm thinking we, oh, it's not double S either. I was going to say, I think we end in S, S. All right, and now I'm thinking clasp. Oh, no, there's no A. I was thinking clasp. Wait, hold on. There's no A, I, or U, or E. So it's got to be an O, but we're not allowed to guess O, which is just wonderful. But we're probably something like O, S. Oh, sorry, I can't type O, but O, S. O, S what? Maybe O, S, H? It could even be double O. What can I guess here to test that? Um, I want to guess like Clash or something, but there's no... I can't guess L right now. This is really limiting me. <laughs> the letters it's not letting me guess. Um, crash. I'll do Crash. Oh, I can't do R. Shoot. <laughs> can't do Clash or Crash. Sp Spasm. I'll do spasm. Which I know that it can't start with S, but I mean, I'm not going to be able to get the answer anyway. Okay, it ends in S, so maybe it's a plural today. Um, all right, what are we going to actually guess here? Oh, well, if it's a plural, there's probably a bunch of options. I could do chords. It's not terrible. Right, this has to be an O. We need vowels. We don't. That's literally the only vowel left. Well, I guess there could be Y's, but we'll assume that's an O. Um, it's not another S. I'm thinking C H or something. W H. There's no R. Hmm. There could be an L. If there's another O, it's exactly here, which I'm not sure I like. <clears throat> um, okay, let's put an L here. Glow. Blows, maybe? We're going to get a lie on this, too. All right, well, at least we, at least we know what the lie is. OK, so I was very close. It's not blows. It's glows no it's flows wow who knew about the lows trap <laughs> i sure didn't i bet there's a bunch of traps that in an s if you're if you're allowing plurals a lot of them all right cool got it down to the wire but i did get it this clue helped a lot targeted the f because it wasn't going to be the lows all right can we start the blind with flows we sure can you get nothing, but doesn't mean those letters aren't in the word, just because this was the clue where you only get greens. Um, let's just do stare, though. We're going to get a lie. All right, what can we test here? We can do plate. Okay, the A was not lying. The T was probably not lying. The E was not lying. So the S must be lying. So I think we just have T-A-E. We could do, like... Um, a T E maybe? Oh, I can't guess T. Darn it. We're not an E R word. Um, or the S could be true, and we are an E R word. But that would be S A T E R. But that doesn't work. Um, what can I do then? I could test E A here. Maybe E A T. Like. Okay, maybe the word is like cheat. So we could test cheer with a double E to see if that's true. Okay, I like EA in this case. Um, I still like EAT. What else can we do with EAT? We could do wheat, but there's no H. 
Um, maybe not. Can't do treat. There's no R. According to the... Oh, we know there's no R. Sorry. So we know this R wasn't the lie. Um, if the S wasn't lying, then we could... We'd have to be S something EAT. And then we'd have to have a lie somewhere else. So there wouldn't be a T maybe. So S something EA not T. There's no H. If there's no T, the T could be lying like this, but like stead. Oh my goodness. Wow, it is that, but I'm not allowed to guess it because this has to be a non-word. But what, what are the options? Steak? Okay, so there's there's steak, there's steam, there's, I think that's really it. Maybe steam, probably not. Uh, let's just include like F and G for no reason. Yeah, so it was steak. Oh wow, that that was uh, that was an interesting lie here to get. <laughs> you don't you don't assume that one of the when you get a green and three yellows, you don't assume that the lie is that one of the yellows is actually green. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm glad I tested that actually. Interesting. All right, well that was a fun set of games. Um, pretty decent decent length video. I think targeting half an hour is pretty good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.